Yep. Twas the night before mountain meat. And all through the shop, everyone was stirring because their car was full of slop. Okay, I'm not gonna rhyme anymore because I don't have time for that shit. But what do you do when your brand new AEM wideband doesn't work? And I mean, when I say it doesn't work, I'm talking it probably reads correctly for about two seconds and then goes full lean. Uh, I've done this with two different sensors, so I don't even know where the problem is and I don't have time to troubleshoot it. Oh, we're zoomed way in. Sorry about that, guys. Let's do this. So what am I going to do? I have a spare, I call it a spare, dyno wideband. i got to figure out where I'm going to run the ho hose. Why? The electric hoses. The wiring for it, I think. I think I'm going to get it right up past the top of the transmission, right up there. You can see a little grommet right next to the shifter. I think I'm going to pop it in there. That should keep it out of the way of everything hot. Save me from trying to pass it through the firewall because she's big and the firewall grommets aren't that big and I don't want to cut a big hole in it. So yeah, I would uh, much rather be doing other things to prepare for this trip, but I am playing with the wideband, which I've been playing with now for three days and AEM is rapidly, rapidly taking the top spot of my shit list.